is Rachel Price, and I'm an ESL teacher at Ecole Tandem in the, in the Commission Scolaire de Seigneurie de Melille uh, on the North Shore of Montreal. Okay. I teach all of the students in one primary school, so I teach grades one through six. Cool. Okay. I chose to use Quizlet, um, and I chose to use it because I found it to be very straightforward for me and for the students, um, and it was using a technique that I was already trying to teach, which is using flashcards uh, to, to drill vocabulary. Well, the stu in order to communicate, the students need to have a lot of vocabulary and they need to have it at their fingertips, and that means you have to drill it. So normally I would give five or six or seven different paper exercises with the same set of words, um, and it takes up a lot of class time, and I only see my students on average 90 minutes a week. So I wanted to motivate them to drill the vocabulary at home. Um, so in the past, I've had them make paper flashcards um, and practice with the flashcards, and I've shown them how to do that. Um, but this permitted them to do basically the same thing and to use drill type to do drill type activities, but with different game sort of contexts um, on the computer. And they like computers; they're excited about computers, and they 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 find computers accessible in their home lives. So it made, the, it made them more excited about practicing. Uh, grade three, grade five, and grade six. Um, well, as you can see, I have a projector, um, and I don't have access to individual computers. Um, I don't have iPads, and we don't have a computer lab. So basically, I just had to model for the students what they were going to do at home to practice. So I didn't change the setup of the classroom at all. I, uh, I had to teach them to use Quizlet. Um, I had to allocate about 15 minutes of class time for two or three classes. But I'm seeing this as an investment because Quizlet is such a useful site that I can put more vocabulary sets on it as I go along in their school career. Show them how to actually do all the quizzes. And we did that more than once. So we did it once and I gave them a little piece of paper that had the link to the website. And then in another lesson we practiced it again and I showed them where to find their, where they could find the link on their class web page. And then I would have some other student come up, you know, I would just, just say, okay, go start quiz, Quizlet, and somebody else would do it. Um, with the grade six class, I told them there was a quiz coming up, and I wasn't seeing them that week. So I told them, and ask this particular student, she can show you on your class's interactive whiteboard how to do this. Um, so they had to practice it a lot. But I'm hoping that in the future, I'll just be able to say, and there's a Quizlet on this, and that'll be it. So I have a projector, and I have an interactive pen. Um, and I showed the children how to go to the Quizlet website. So you can go to the website. You can enter the name. They, I, I chose a, a name that they would know already, so I'm Ms. Rachel Quebec. And then you go into my page. And you can find, for example, the, the weather vocabulary. And I actually showed them how to do this. And then I had a student come up and do this so that everybody would know how. So you go to the right vocabulary page. And then they can practice with the flashcards. And the computer will tell them how to say it. So, and we would practice all this together. So here's the picture. And then they And then the whole class would say, it's cold. And then we would flip it. It's cold. And it would check. And so I would say, so if, if you're at home and you don't know how to say this, you do it like this. And, um, and the computer will tell you how to say the word. And then I had them practice with the the learn page, and here they had to spell it. So we use the keyboard. Oops! So we were able to practice when it was correct, and we were able to practice when it wasn't correct, and I could show them what would happen if it wasn't correct, but it's just red, you know? It's not, it doesn't go it doesn't, it doesn't scare them, it doesn't make them feel like they failed so they could just keep practicing. So we did that, and then we did the scatter one. They love the scatter one. Like that. And I 
would bring them up and I would have them take turns and you know sometimes someone would do a different one each time so they would have to be really attentive and running up and down and getting kinesthetic as well as you know getting uh, getting physically involved in the activity. Well I mean in class they were engaged with the paper exercises but if I wanted them to practice at home I mean you know flashcards are little bits of paper and they get lost easily and they have to remember to take them home and it's just complicated, but if it's all on the computer, there's less to lose, and it's easier to access. Also, it helped with the grade threes that they already have a class website. Um, so, and I worked with the grade three teacher to, uh, to post the link on the class website so that they could get to it directly. When they went to access the rest of their homework for the week, they could access the quiz link. Um, also, I printed out the link on a little piece of paper, so there were a couple of avenues to get to it. And for the students who weren't able to use internet at home at all, um, I was able to just print the vocabulary list and they could study straight off the list. I did that more with my older students because grade threes are not so good with just looking at a list of words and practicing. Oh, I really liked, um, it's difficult sometimes to get students to understand that they have to be careful about their spelling. Um, you know, they sometimes it's just enough for them to just make something that looks like the word on paper. And eventually, once they get to grade six and so on, I need them to actually care about their spelling. So the uh, the learn function was really useful for that because it's a computer, and if you don't put in all the right letters, it notices. It tells you you made a mistake. Also, it was really helpful with the weather with the weather quizlet that I was able to get them to type in already the sentence structure, it's cold, it's warm. Um, so even though they're grade three and even though they don't really need to say it that way yet, they already have the groundwork now because the computer's been expecting them to put in the whole sentence. They already have the groundwork for making sentences later on.